Hey guys, and welcome to Steve's Quest. Now, I've done Steve's Quest before. I've actually live-streamed it. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, I guess I should back up a bit, actually. Steve's Quest, about half a year ago, uh, was a map I created for some of my viewers to play, as well as anybody else that wanted to play it. Uh, it didn't go really far. It wasn't the best Minecraft map ever, sad to say. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed making it, and I'm going to enjoy playing it through. Uh, but there have been so many different playthroughs done. I think like 15 different people at least have played through this whole map. So uh, I needed a way to make it different other than just dev commentary because I've already done that. So I think the best way to make this different would be to do Steve's Quest modded. Which nobody has ever done before. Nobody has ever tried to do Steve's Quest with mods on. And I will try not to be cheating anywhere through this whole series. Of course I can beat my own map. I've done it several times before. Uh, but this is the first time I'm ever going to be trying it modded. So we'll see how that goes. As you can see here, it's in the same mods as Adventures in Minecraft is. Uh, season 4 for the time being. So it should be pretty interesting to actually see what happens here. Here's uh, April 11th, 2013. It was over five months ago that I've played this. So let's get ready here. I have no idea what to expect, actually. I'm just going to load the train in and... We'll get going. We'll try to make this as interesting as I possibly can. Um, see here. See we got the mini map up in the corner. And the room that I'm in right now looks absolutely amazing. Now most people would usually like uh, play play the music and enjoy some things while they read the rules. But uh, truth be told, I already know the rules. Sad to say. I, I'm just like one of, those, one of those people that just knows the rules. I'm going to delete this whole waypoint. Because I never played this map before. It's just... It's just there because it's the map of the same name. So, if you guys are ready, I am as well. But if you're not ready, just go go grab your popcorn and I'll be ready later. But if you are ready, let's go. Alright, this is the first place, actually. First area in Steve's Quest. And we'll see what's going to happen here. There's already a bear over there. That's pretty foreboding, man. Pretty foreboding. Oh, I should probably turn this off cheat mode. Probably go to, like... Utility mode would probably be... Nope. Nope. Uh, recipe mode. Definitely recipe mode. Alright, now, uh, we'll take out some wolves. Take out my starting guide. Actually, we're gonna leave that in there. I have no need of that. It'll just, like, uh, really weigh down my inventory. And try to keep my inventory very clear. Uh, I'll just grab this frame and put it away as well. Let's keep it there. We'll keep the memory of it there forever. So, um, originally, I, uh, in case any of you couldn't tell, tell me... If any of you would like really recognize this, I doubt any of you will. Uh, but the original idea for this place in the map was actually Spiral Mountain. This is the first uh, mountainous place in the map that you start out. And it's kind of where you go and get all your first tools and things. And the original idea for it was uh, inspiration from Spiral Mountain. So that's a fun fact for any of you who have played Banjo-Kazooie. And if you don't, well... Shame on you. Now this was a little trick I put here. If you mine this block, a silverfish is going to come jumping out at you. And you can just take it down with your sword really quickly. And it'll give you silver coins! No, it won't. Because this is a modded version. Nobody's ever done this before. So next up, uh, we have a parkour challenge over here. Look at the grass wave. So rhythmic. I love it. I love these shaders. I really do. Uh, so everybody always has trouble with this parkour. Uh, but I can complete it on my first try. I really can. It's like really simple. I can actually did it. I was... I'm, I'm a little surprised actually. Was not expecting to do that on my first try. I was looking for one of those fail things that I usually do. Yeah, that, that usually happens. Sad to say. Uh, now that we've got our pickaxe, we can head over here to the mine area. And hopefully none of these boars decide that we need to die. Because most creatures' boars are pretty aggressive now. Me. Lots of people don't know that you can actually break that block high. Uh, I actually have a spawner. Uh, let me show you guys. I doubt anybody has ever dug in here before, but somewhere in here, uh, there is a spawner. Yep, right here. So uh, this thing spawns zombies with golden chest plates. Uh, it can be a very good source of golden chest plates, as you can see. So just for any of you fanatic fans of Steve's Quest out there, if you're going to play this map yourself, be sure to leave that spawner intact. So you get some of the golden chest plates that they drop. Now there's nothing over here, even though it looks suspicious. Uh, this jaguar apparently killed something, so let's grab that. 
and hopefully he doesn't decide to kill us next. We're eating chicken in front of him. That might make him mad. Never thought of that. And uh, there's nothing at the top of that waterfall either. Even though if I were going to redesign this map, I would definitely put something at the top of that waterfall. But for the time being, there's just something behind it. So we go back here and we can mine up some coal. Might need that later. We actually may literally need that later at some point in our lives. Uh, miner's vest. Uh, we don't need right now because we've already got the golden chest plate. Uh, all we need right now is Steve's spade. We got some food for later. And these silver coins I don't think are really going to help us. They're just part of the mods that I have installed. And it's okay. It's okay to kill pigs. Just tell that to anybody. If you're on a, if you're on a barnyard and you're just like absolutely murdering pigs and the farm comes out and says, Hey, what are you doing? Be sure to tell him. Hey man, Flash Flare said it's okay to kill pigs. And I'll probably say, well, you know, I, I don't really like you killing my pigs, but that Flash Flare guy, now he's pretty cool. I'll probably let you kill the pigs. Just saying. It's just one of those things you can do. If you feel like it, you can do it. Anytime you need to. Alright, we got some pants and boots along with some golden apples here. And that should finish up uh, what we need to do in the mountainous area, I think. So we got the miner's vest. We don't really need that. We'll save that for armor for later. Uh, one thing with this map, you're definitely... Oh! Mr. Spider just came out and figured it was daytime, so he didn't need to pulverize me. He's Jim. He's Jim the spider. He's nice. We still don't talk to him. Sometimes he goes out and sits on his roof in the wintertime. Oh, Jim. Just can't deal with Jim anymore. So there used to be a fence blocking this area. But so many people in Let's Plays didn't know they could break blocks. So they never went through it. And I think a couple Let's Plays were never finished because of that. So, uh... <laughs> Way to go, Flash Flare. Just put fences in front of things and then tell your viewers you can't break it. Perfect thing to do. So we can get a, we can pick up an extra stone sword there. As well as find a little mouse that just has a will to die. He has a... Come back. No, I'm not even going to bother. Maybe he doesn't have a will to die like I thought he did. And these are just like water bottles. They're for aesthetic effect. So really smart when I say that. don't know what it means though. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you don't have to take those. Some people just uh, clear out the chests. And that's usually what I do as well. I am on easy mode. It should be on normal. Just want to make sure there's some mobs spawning. We get some action going here. Because I don't want no action. I don't know what no no action going. No. That would be unknowing action. So we can... Before I know I even need the diamond. We just, we just run in and get it. Because I'm that smart. This isn't going to be a speed run. Even though I figure that I'm going to go through it faster. Than anybody else ever. Set the record man. So... Aha! Uh -huh. And so many people didn't know what these tile null names were. Uh, this is just a uh, result of an MC Edit filter that I wrote. Well, I didn't write the MC Edit filter. Way to go, Flash Flare. I used it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Should try to save that one. Um, I don't know how to write MC Edit filters. Anyway, I used that one, and that's the result of that. So hopefully we'll get some enemies going in here now, man. I hope. Because... We want some action, man. We don't... We want some action, man? Is that an actual, like, toy? Dude, is that a toy? What if I... What if I was actually advertising a toy? Would people be happy? Now, this dispenser has a little secret behind it. Uh, if you flip this switch, most people think, Aha, I'm not gonna do that because you get shot. And there are, in fact, arrows in the dispenser. So people are gonna be like, Yeah, of course that'll happen. Now, you flip the switch, and I turn the chat on... Um, and Bill says, Bet you thought I was gonna shoot you. Shoop. That's how you read. I have some arrows inside, though. So, basically, I turned this guy into a little character. His name is Bill. You don't have to talk to Bill if you don't want to. But some people do. And <laughs> some people just stood back and flipped that switch. They're like, I know Flash Flare's gonna get me. But no. I never had any bad intentions. That's an infernal mob. And he's a blast-off mob, which means he will... Blast us off if we look at him. That's not going to be good for when we try to go down there, actually. This Let's Play is starting out so unique already. I didn't... Man. All right, so we don't want to look at this guy. See, he's already trying to blast us off. He thinks we're a spaceship. We're no spaceship. Somebody tell him that, all right? He's just like, you're a spaceship. Stop. Here we go. 
Okay, we're right under the blast off exhaust poison, Mr. Dude, and we're probably gonna die. Probably gonna die. No, 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 that's not allowed. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Rare draining cave spider of Wee! Yeah, I felt it. I felt the wound. So. First death. First death. Uh, luckily, I have keep inventory. And I don't have to walk all the way back to my death point because I can just teleport there and get absolutely murdered again. So these cave spiders, they don't know what's good for them. We just, we just kill them before they, before they even live their lives. So hopefully, I uh, can kind of wait out the poison. Thank you. All right, we got out of there alive. That's good. Never really not wanted to not do that. Same. So we can put away all the unnecessary stuff we have. No, we we'll just empty this. You want to keep the rotten flush though, actually. You don't want to empty that out. And don't need the string. Steve's hatchet we don't really need either, so I'm gonna put that away. Um, spider eye we don't really need. Oh, we, we forgot to take out the good stuff though. That's the good stuff, man. You, you, you gotta take out the good stuff, man. All right, all right. So if we go down this ladder very slowly, not like a lot of people who've killed themselves going down it. I'm looking at you, Mr. Dude. You know who you are. Because I don't, and you need to tell me. Because I forgot. So if you can tell me who you are, that would be much appreciated. That was the most lookish look of looking ever I was. Okay. Um, uh, uh, you are not good. You must die. So, uh, who would win in a shooting match between me and a skeleton? Obviously me. Obviously. Uh, because I'm winning right now. And that's, that's just how I roll. No! You're not very nice! That's not fair! Hey. You need to, you need to talk to your elders about doing that. Before you, be sure to consult the authorities before killing someone. It's a good idea. Oh no, you're gonna kill me, aren't you? Oh yeah? Two deaths in the series before it starts? I don't think so. I don't think so! Mr. Buddy. Buddy Boo? Buddy Boo. It's like the best name for him ever. So we gotta regen some health now. No excuses. Uh, one thing I wanted to show off before I went any further. There's actually a beta area in the map. As you can see on the mini-map, there's something strange over there. Booyah. Uh, booyah is right. Alright, I think I need to get rid of you before you absolutely merge someone that you probably shouldn't have murdered. Yeah, go away, go away. Look at the me. Look at the night. He's just like, I'm pretty awesome, man. I'm just like sitting here, chilling, minding my own business. Hi, why are you coming for me? I don't like that. I don't like that. So anyway, that was going to be an ice area. It was actually going to be a place where you like entered, and then you were warped to the ice world. So you'd actually have to come back in the map. One thing I really would have liked to add in the map more than I did, and I will add in future maps when I make them, is backtracking. A lot of people say they hate that, but I would really like it in the map. Now these little things uh, are added in the our Mr. Ryov mod. So, I figure, if, if you kill one of these things, though, you get its sword. And their swords are relatively powerful. I have a lot of durability, but they are powerful. So, I think that if we are smart here, unlike somebody else I know, get out of there, please. Please don't. Please don't just sit there and get killed. Please don't. So, if I kill this guy, eventually, like, I'll get a sword. If it gets burned up by the lava, I'm going to be so mad, though. I just got a helmet? That's all? No sword? Okay, maybe it's a rare drop then. I didn't realize that. I actually thought that maybe we'd get a sword. No. Well, I think we did everything that needs to be done. There's That's a kitty cat. Dude, there's, there's the dude we want to talk to. I cut the birdie. I'm just like, go, minding my own business. Killing birdies. This dude comes up, he's like, man... What are you doing? I'm just like, it's okay. It's just okay. Just, just don't, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. Come on. You know what I'm talking about. So I couldn't bear to do that to him without giving him a fair chance to fight. What I'm talking about. All right, that didn't work at all. Now we got to get out of here because we busted a hole in the side of the. That's a golem. I didn't think they would spawn, but they did. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep in the bed really quickly. And I'm going to, like, really weirdly glitch out on the side like I'm burping rose petals. That's what it looked like there. Not going to lie. Anyway, now we have saved at this point. So if you guys want to continue on to the village, we can do that as well. And there's no coming back. 
Au contraire, Flash Flare. There is coming back. <laughs> I spent a week getting that line ready, you guys. Because it rhymed. I have to really think ahead on my rhymes. Alright, so uh, we need to eat some things. Um, well, this is a weird, this is a weird playthrough so far. So, we have 12 bones. We have 14. Even better than I thought. We can get a cactus plate. I usually don't have enough of these, but... Um, should have saved our strength. We really should have. I forgot about that. We don't have enough gunpowder for the heavy hitter. We don't have enough rotten flush for anything we want to buy, but... We do have all the coal in the map to get us a speed potion. Which means that a speed potion and chest play are all we're going to get this time. Do not take the bait. Do not sleep in these beds. I put those there to be a troll. Actually, I did though. How do you guys like the sides? On the sides of the thing you see? All your friends can sit around this and just look at a tree. It'll be a perfect daytime activity. You know how you used to go over to Grandma's house and eat lunch? No. You guys need to go to the park. You need to sit your whole family down and you need to look at a tree, okay? It's a lot better quality time. Tree huggers. I'm at level 9, which is actually extremely surprising. I didn't expect to be at that high of a level. These guys must give you huge amounts of experience. A level 11. Very nice. Okay, so the golden helmet has more durability than I thought it would. And gold is very enchantable to start out with. So I think we might want to give this a low level enchantment. Blast protection. I don't need you, Blast Protection! Actually, we're going to wear the iron one for now. Uh, and then I also want to power up my stone sword. Bane of arthropods. Oh, we might need that, though. Uh, the bow as well. Ho hold on, hold on. Hold on. We got two bows here. Horror of horrors. The bows cannot be combined. I don't know why, but... I don't know why she swallowed a fly, but... Drawback... Okay, we got a drawback on this bow. It's pretty awesome, man. And we got one more level to spend. What should we use it on? The carrot! Apparently not. It's apparently it's not like um, Jim and the giant carrots. I don't even know. Okay, we're going to put the miner's log away. We never read the miner's log, though. got to read it. Well, boys, we're moving out of this cave. I think we got every diamond that's here. Maybe. Yeah, I was so good at, like, really alluding to that there was a diamond in the cave. You guys didn't know, though. Okay, welcome. Some people view this as the most pointless book I ever put in a game. And I agree. Actually, I think it is pretty pointless. Welcome to the library. Feel free to use the book on the table if you know how. Just in case any wizards come in here. Yep. 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 Okay, guys. So I've had a, look at those things. Look at that. Doing the Harlem Shake. Stop doing the Harlem Shake, okay? Just stop. I made his spirits go down. He's not doing the Harlem Shake anymore. That's good. But look at these things. They're swaying in the wind even though they're not connected to anything. A little disturbing, I would say. Alright, so you guys, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Steve's Quest Modded. The Woods of Eternal Dark is where things are really going to get complicated, though, because... That's where the mods are really going to start to show up. We've already got a drawback one bow, which is a new thing for this Let's Play. Nobody's ever done that before. And we've got a lot of things that we're going to have to do. But I'm going to go into the woods of Eternal Dark and see what we can do there. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Steve's Quest. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment. I really enjoy comments as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Boom! <laughs> Umis versus Sniper. Begin! I'm I'm the best. You're not the best. Ooh, sick rhyme. And my guitar is the best. Oh, he brought his guitar into this. And your guitar isn't the best. Oh, you just halted your guitar sniper. You need to you need to combat that. What are you gonna say to that?